Very cool, how to step up my game, how to get the, the right lights. I see a lot of YouTubers who don't even know nothing about videos looking a lot better than me, and I've been doing this since I was 15. And I'm, I'm old now, just that's all you gotta know, I'm old. I'm not 40, but I'm almost there. Uh, you see the hairline? So 2021, we are talking about virtual graduations. What does a virtual graduation look like in 2021? Man, the pandemic came and completely changed the game on how we have to go about doing our commencements and making sure that the students feel like they have a graduation of some sort. You can't make them go through this program and they don't feel like their degree is worth anything. So, you know, having the right in approaching your commencement as a virtual graduation and following COVID rules to make sure people don't get infected. And then, you know, the worst nightmare is to have a press outbreak of your school is the reason why these families died. And now, now your school got to close and it all happened because of you. You decided to do a graduation without having the COVID protocol in place. That's how come it's important now to do virtual graduation. So last year, everybody scrambled. They tried to put it together and they just, just did the best they could out of their soul. And they used the excuse that, oh, it's, you know, it's COVID. We just went in the pandemic and, and you know, wow, we couldn't, you know, we can't, we can't, you know, this is the best we could clients, AKA students who go to the school. And going to 2021, that is not the excuse anymore. Yes, we have to follow COVID protocol, but you have a whole year now to think about how do you approach it. And somehow now you are clicking this video and finding me and having I have the answer for you. Hoping that I can give you the answer to save your job. And guess what? I got some answers. You just gotta stay tuned, I have them for you. You know, being a video production company and talking to many different schools, I've come across a couple of, of nice ideas and just approaches that can give the quality. Is it gonna be the same as having in some big arena and you're gonna have Pharrell or Denzel Washington or Bill Gates come and speak? It's not gonna to be to that magnitude, but it can be at least a lot better than what was done last year. And that's, I think that's the goal, at least to get better from what you did last year until you get back to normal. Okay, just to kind of piggyback off from last year, I still strongly recommend doing pre-recorded videos. Gather all the pre-recorded assets, write up a little script of what you want to represent, and shoot pre-recorded videos. Work with a company like us, Transcend Enterprise, and we can help you script and help you make sure that these videos are in dialogue of your customer and to make sure that it's, it's punchy. Why, you know, why use us? As I said, we, we work with a whole bunch of different schools, work with a whole bunch of different projects, and that can give you some great insight of how you can go about putting your project together. So, yeah, so real quick, I would say pre-recorded videos is still the way to go in 2021. No, it's not live in a sense of people are interacting, but Virtual graduations represent your brand, and it being representing your brand, you have to go with a lot of factors you can control. One of the factors when you are live that you can't control is if your head dean is having issues signing in or his sound goes out and he doesn't know it, and you have to try to contact him and go over something. I mean, no, you don't want to be in that situation. Or you just say, hey, it's a good idea. Maybe we should have the students partake. And you just have this one hater student that's just like, I hate the school and I don't want to be a part of it. And I want to bomb it. You know, it's very easy to be, or it's very easy to be a tough guy and cause catastrophe over a computer typing on a keyboard on a computer. You know, you can sign up as a fake person. You can sign up as a person who is not that person and set somebody up for, you know, for failure. I mean, there's so many things you can't control being live and actually being live and at home and everybody's home viewing it. So I do not really recommend the live approach just for uh, the sake of risking your brand and just for the sake of less stress levels. But sometimes you have, you know, sometimes there's some elements and sometimes there are schools with 
no knucklehead kids. You know, the kids are not knuckleheads, and you know they're they're actually really nice to each other, and you know they want to participate. All the families are nice, and you know there are places like that out there, and um, it's not that many in New York City where we are. But I, I know outside of U.S., you know, some places, you know, the camaraderie, and there's not such a big school, so you know you can do it in a small school capacity. So if you will go live. You know, there's still a lot of things to do. Uh, I would still recommend working with a production company that loves to do it in vMix. It would give a more high value look. This is where the editor plays some videos and stuff that we did with vMix here. Just to kind of show, show the quality. You can do it. I mean, vMix is a little bit more expensive. And when I say expensive, let's be transparent and, and not go through the BS of you trying to figure out. Or well, maybe I should just let you go through the BS and call us and I can kind of go through. But just to kind of go straight to the point, I would say, you know, you're gonna at least pay a minimum of 3,500 to sort of start something. You know, depending on the pre-production and assets and how much planning is needed, that's gonna change the price. Doing a virtual commencement in Zoom, very simple, very cost effective. Bring everybody in as a webinar where they can't really talk, they can only chat. You can put a PowerPoint together uh, with your agenda, your school branding and colors. You can also take that and have someone, you can have your players, your panelists, coordinate you know, the parts of the agenda that's needed, have them speak, have your keynote speak, and then when the graduates come, you can make each PowerPoint slide represents the graduate, and you know, the now of the family who goes to this school, they see their son or their daughter come up on a PowerPoint slide, and they feel special. They take that and record it and send it to grandma. Grandma is like, wow, I can't believe it. You know, now you have given value to the students and they feel like you did something. So I would, you know, I recommend that as a quick solution, cost-effective solution. You can have a company like us do a plethora of things in this matter. You can, you know, you can have somebody be the voice of God or be the host or moderator that kind of keep the program moving along, keeping it along with some entertainment. You would want to work with a professional company because we could put music and sound effects, we could put cheering, we can put your marching in commencement music in there. We can help create the elements and seamlessly transition it. We could do it in Zoom. Um, and if and it, you have something that's decent, and have something that really is cost effective. The downsides of doing it with Zoom is that Zoom is not going to play at a full, clear uh, quality. And the downside is some of the transitions may be rocky for the fact that you're literally unsharing the screen and sharing it back to another software. But as I said, the professional will know how to make the transitions and make it all work out. Um, and you're also spotlighting and not spotlighting. So that's kind of the, almost the secrets to make it kind of work. Lots of rooms for error, but it still will be done. Yeah. Yeah.